Okay, folks, what we want to talk about today is the Schrader valve core remover. What is a Schrader valve? Schrader valve is they're little spring loaded valves that are on the AC unit where you put your gauges. Okay, sometimes they go bad. They have a little rubber seat around those. Sometimes trash gets into the little stem parts at the end of it, trash gets into those, they get stuck. Sometimes other technicians or people might leave the caps off and you get dirt and debris inside of these things and they all need to be cleaned out. Here's the tool that actually does this for you, okay? Comes into two pieces. This here is actually just a CPS model, but there's several different ones on the market. This here is just a ball valve. If you can see down inside of this, it just shuts it off. See, see the little ball valve inside? Okay. So... What I'm going to do here, I want you to come over here. I actually changed this one. Let me show you what happened here, guys. I'm going to show you this first. I want you to look this through. See this blue stuff? This is uh, another company down here, one of my competitors. Hey, guys, if you're a helper, if you're a technician, if you're an owner, if you're a homeowner, do not use Loctite on the AC systems. Read your instruction manual. It will never say nothing about using Loctite. Loctite is that, use a little bottle of blue stuff that auto mechanics use to keep nuts from backing out and vibrating loose. But you do not use this stuff on AC equipment. I wish I had a bottle to show you. If it doesn't come with the manufacturer's spec sheet, do not use it. Look at this cap. It's plump full of stuff. Horrible. Horrible. So what we're going to do... I'm going to replace this valve, okay? I'm going to replace it with this, a brand new one. Okay, first thing you want to do, let's put this, I'm putting it all back together. I'm sorry about that, guys, on the video. Okay, just take it and screw it on. Okay, I've got the valve closed. That's closed. Just take your time. Don't rush this, okay? It's kind of like surgery for a doctor. You want to thumb tighten it, okay? Now the valve's still closed. So what, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the valve up slowly. And I want you to watch this. Watch this shoot up. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my thumb and I'm just going to barely turn it. you got to kind of put your thing in. you got to rotate this until you know you're on the Schrader valve. you you got to catch got to catch this hook. This tool is designed to catch right here. See how you got the shoulders on each side? So I'm going to, I found it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to very gently, I'm going to turn it. This thing's under pressure, so you got to work with it, okay? Okay, now I've caught it again. So now I'm just going to rotate it. And the way I look at it, I look at the distance between my two pieces here, my two pieces of brass. Okay, I think I've got it, so I'm going to let it out very gently. I'm going to shut my valve valve, because if you don't shut your valve and you take this off, all the refrigerant is going to come out. Voila, I got it. See how... This tool captured the side of this thing. See, it fits right in there perfectly. So now I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put the new one back in the same way. That's an old one. This is my new one, so I'm gonna load it back up. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna just step aside here, and if I open this valve, you'll see the refrigerant start coming out. That's why it's important to make sure this is shut. 
Now I'm going to put this back in very gently. Take your time, guys. This is not a procedure that you hurry. You're like a doctor here. It's worth this money and time. Okay, now I'm going to open up my ball valve very gently. I'm going to push this back in very slow and easy. Now I'm just going to turn it. Turn it nice and slow. Once again, you'll see the distance close between these two gaps. You just turn it till you can't turn it no more. And then all you want to do is to snug it. All right. Notice how I can't really turn it no more. I'm just going to kind of snug it, okay? Just a, just a smidge, just a thumb turn. Don't get crazy because these things have got small threads. So now I'm going to let this out. Shut my ball valve back off. I'm going to take this off. Now, what I'm going to do without me just thinking I'm all that, I'm not going to loosen this. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open this up and make sure we have no refrigerant coming out. All right, my ball valve is open. That means the, the valve stem is seated. All right, that was a successful extraction of the core valve and resetting the new core valve. All I want to say, guys, is take your time. Think about what you're doing. Try not to contaminate your system. If you have any questions, go to jonesairconditioning.com. Please subscribe to these videos. Please like these videos. And for you experienced technicians and you owners, please pay it forward to the young technicians. Our world needs better people in our industry, okay? Thank you for watching.